has Trinity, even though the Bible doesn't have Trinity. You know? So these verses, that's what they do. They do, they bring one verse and they cut it off from the historical context or from the, the Quranic context or from the Sunnah context. Sunnah context means, and historical context means the Asbab al Nuzul for that verse to, uh, to be revealed. They say Allah sent the Quran. Let the people of the Injil rule and judge what Allah has sent down in it. Okay? Now, this verse, as the Port Nobi said, even Tabari said, he said this verse Allah is speaking about where Allah revealed the Injil and the Torah for people to judge by it. That's one thing. The other thing Allah is saying, judge by it, which meaning accept what is being mentioned in your scriptures about Prophet Muhammad That's why there's many Jewish rabbis, Christian scholars, accept Islam and utilize their scriptures to uh, uh, justify why they accepted Islam. You know? So that verse... Alhamdulillah, you know, you know us here, yeah, for example, they say, why don't you debate him, okay? I mean, why am I going to debate with someone? I'm here in the park. I don't do this debate like see, because why you have to understand you know this type of debating when you give someone half an hour to speak or 40 minutes to speak he's gonna bring a lot of doubts you understand but when you speak man to man you can control the person by saying no don't go off the topic you know yeah. you know what I'm saying don't go off the topic stick to this point point by point because you know the tactic you know they do the machine gun doubt I'm gonna bring 20 doubts I'm gonna remember all of them that's what they you know do. that's why when you catch him one doubt, let me deal with it. And when some doubt, my brothers and sisters, Allah bless you all, some doubt you need to, because there's many layers over it. For example, Prophet Muhammad getting married to Aisha. How many, how many layers there's over this doubt? There's many layers. One of them is that many of us here and worldwide, we've been affected by the liberal, you know, black liberalism, secularism, we've been affected by also by our environment. So we start judging our, we start, we start judging uh, uh, things based upon our culture, and that is incorrect because our culture is not, our culture is second. Likewise, it's subjective. You cannot go to, for example, I'm Algerian. I cannot come to this country and I say, you know what, you're wrong because in Algeria we do the opposite way. I say, okay, that's your country, Algeria, but in England we have different way. But if I say no, you're wrong because the Creator said such and such. Then I have a point, because the Creator, he has the absolute truth. As human beings, our opinions subjective. You understand? So some doubt you have to really go dive into it and destroy the, the foundations and the pillars that are putting the doubt on. Then you speak about the doubt. Like many people say, person got married to her. She was nine. That's pedophilia. Again, what is pedophilia? Define pedophilia. And also, how come for 1,300 years, no one spoke against Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu getting married to Aisha, even though there is many uh, uh, documents showing that Muslims and Christians, they've been debating with each other for over thousands of year, thousand years. How come they never mention Aisha's issue? Except 100 years ago, when there was a British Orientalist, he said that. Because why? The British changed their law. In Britain, they used to get married at the age of six and seven. In America, same thing. In Europe, same thing. When they change it, then the whole world has to have to change it. Otherwise, we're gonna call you backwards. We don't have to follow your way. Yes, we accept as a Muslim, we are just. If you believe your way is correct and it's good, then we follow it. You understand? But we don't have to follow your way. That's why Islam is a perfect way of life for every nation, every place, and every time. You see, because when you go to Eritrea, or you go Africa, the age of marriage is com completely different than us. Yeah. When you go to Japan, it's different. 21, Japan 21. So in Japan, according to Japan, us we are pedophiles if we get married at the age of 18. Depends. Islam comes in to tell you, look, depends on the environment and the society. And what is it? And social economic. So the government should what? Dictate, okay, now let us analyze. The girls in our time, they don't get mature quicker. Not like before, understand? For example, before, it's completely different, you know? I, it, yeah, because remember, before, they will, you don't have to go uh, nursery, uh, primary school, secondary school. Before, use the HPBT, either you got married or you have to take it after the ship. You know what I'm saying? So that's why they should get married at the age of 
young age. Also, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu his enemies, they used to look for any excuse to invalidate his prophethood. So how come they never mentioned Aisha's marriage? From the Christians, the Jews, the, uh, the, 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 the Arab pagans, the Persians, the, the, the Byzantines, they never spoke about it. This issue goes back to the government, to be honest. Not me. I'm not expert. You see what I'm saying? So it goes back to the government. The, the government decides, you know, looking. Huh? In Islam, look, Islam, there's a, there's a condition, okay? She has to be ready mentally, physically, okay? Likewise, Prophet Muhammad said, do not harm yourself and do not harm others. So when you have this principle, then okay. Even the Quran, some scholars mentioned that Allah said, when there is age of puberty. But even that, there's other hadith, other verses, also give extra conditions. Because age puberty, sometimes the girl can reach age puberty, but she's not ready. Mentally, she's not there. You know what I'm saying? So Islam, physically, mentally ready. They say, Aisha, she was playing with those. No, there's many narration mentioned some girls came to see her to her house and they were playing with those, okay? And sometimes you have your daughters and you play with them with those. Doesn't mean you are immature. You know what I'm saying? So Alhamdulillah. I mean, Aisha herself, she was happy with it. So, uh, uh, her father was happy with it. Her, uh, her society was happy with it. So what is your problem? You know? That's why, look, if you look back at the debate between the Muslim and Christians 500 years ago, the issue of Aisha, the Christians never used, uh, used it against the Muslims. Uh, again, it depends. Shem Uthaymin said they should change it. One of the Muslims called Uthaymin said because of the girls of our time, they should change it to 16, 17. One of the scholars in Uthaymin mentioned that in Sahih al-Bukhari. When he was explaining, and he said, Aisha, some people, he, said, he said, some people might say, let us get our children married at the age of Aisha. Okay? He said Aisha was completely different. You know? He said, our time, the girls are different. I mean, wallahi, even our countries, if you go back to our countries, okay, I remember I was telling my wife in the market, you see, because poverty. They don't have time, they don't have money to go to school. They have to do, they have to work. Nine years old, in the market, working, making money. The way he makes money, the way he speaks, his money is mature enough. Why? Because the environment pushes him to do that. To make him mature, to make him smarter, to make him uh, independent. That's it, quicker because of the environment. You know what I'm saying? So don't try to use the British culture as a criteria over the whole world. Because the whole world is not British, mate. You know what I'm saying, Akhi? So. Now, culture is not for what is culture, so to cut you. Culture in Arabic. Say again? Everyone should have their own culture. That's how it is, yeah, culture. Yeah, for example, in, in our, in, 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 in uh, I don't know, British culture, for example, that, uh, what culture that you want to give? Huh? No. no, 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 I'm not talking about, uh, give me an example of the British culture that we know. Uh, yeah, uh, that, that's haram, yeah, that's true. Fish and chips. Fish and chips. Yeah, this, this from the culture, to eat fish and chips and everything. So there's no problem with culture as long the culture doesn't oppose the legislation of the Creator. Likewise, in Islam, sometimes the culture can be part of Islamic legislation. For example, Allah said in the Quran, وَعَاشِرُهُنَّ بِالْمَعْرُوفِ In the other wives. بِالْمَعْرُوفِ مَعْرُوفِ يَمِنْ بِالْعُرْفِ Shumhu Zaymin said, بِالْعُرْفِ Meaning, according to the custom and the culture. You know? Likewise, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said to respect the parents. I was speaking to one of the... Uh, Brothers, he said, in his culture, if your father speaking to you and you look down, that's disrespect. You have to look at his face, okay? I was speaking to another brother, he said, no, in our culture, you have to look at him. If you look down, that is disrespect. So now, culture comes in and define how to respect your parents. So sometimes... Whatever, like your dad talking to you, you need to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and some of them say, no, you have to look up, because looking down is disrespect, but different. So culture, there's no problem with it as long as it doesn't oppose the legislation of the Creator. That's why people, they say, listen to this, okay. What people, they say, they say, Islam came with the Arab culture. Is that true? That's not true. No. 
No, it's not. It's not. You know why? Because if Islam came with the Arab culture, why the Arabs were against it? How are we going to answer that? That's not Arab, that's not Arab culture. Afghanistan is dressed like this. Yeah. It comes with religion sometimes. I understand. Some, some of, it, of the religion. But it says that Islam came to make people, to Arabize the people, to make them Arabs. That is not true because, first of all, if Islam was just Arab culture, why the Arabs would against it? For example, um, from the Arab culture to pray to the idols. You know what I'm saying? From the Arab culture to bury your daughters alive. From the Arab culture, the women should not have heritage. So Islam did not bring Arab culture. Islam bring the legislation of the Most High. You know? Yes, because the Arabs who spread Islam the beginning, some people will infected by it. They start dressing like them, and there's no problem. Alhamdulillah. There's, there's an influence. Right? Yeah. The language itself. That's true. Yeah, yeah there's influence. Now look, of course, the language, when it comes to the language, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chose the Arabic language to reveal the Quran. You know? And Allah will test the people. Because some people, they follow the prophet as long as it's from them. But if it's not from them, he doesn't, they do not follow him. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to test the people. For example, the Israelites, the Yahud, they used to follow the prophet as long as it's from them. Not all of them, some of them they used to follow, some reject. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tests them by bringing another prophet from another nation to see, are you following this prophet because you believe in God and you believe he's the prophet of God or you are following him because he's from your people? Okay, salam alaikum. May Allah bless you. Take care, be strong. Do you understand? Do you understand? So, Alhamdulillah, all of this you have to understand because now we have this race people try to come to the Afghanis or go to the uh, uh, black brothers and sisters by saying, Why are you Muslim? Why are you Arab? Who says Islam is Arab? You know? Barakallah, huh? the whole world. Islam came. For everyone. Islam means, what is Islam? Islam does not mean you become Qurayshi or Bani Hudayl. No, Islam means, Islam means to submit yourself to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's what means Islam. Buddhism, Buddha. You know, uh, Sikhism to Sikh, you know the one. Uh, Christianity to Christ. Judaism to Judah. Islam, not a Muhammad, to submit to Allah. Alhamdulillah. But I'm surprised. A lot of brothers, mashallah. Yeah. Allah, mubarak. Alhamdulillah. Allah keep us firm. And again, my advice always, all of us, including myself, let us learn our deen. Because my brothers and sisters, Allah bless you all, the time we're living in, there's a lot of trials and tribulations. And there is a dirty war against Islam. You know? Unbelievable. Many, many of us are heedless about it. But there is a dirty, disgusting war against Islam. You know? So we have to learn our deen, to practice our deen, because our owner is our deen. If, if, if we are without Islam, we'll be humiliated. As Awam al-Khattab said, Allah has honored us with Islam. You know? We don't, stop, we, don't pray, we don't We don't change because the environment changes. Because maybe in 10 years later, they says, okay, for the father to get married with his daughter. If you have no Islam, then you say, yeah, it's okay, you change. But Islam, no, solid. No, alhamdulillah. That's why Islam goes in line with a sound reasoning and natural inclination. Love as well. Love. Yeah. Love, as well. love, brother, love, love of course. No, no, uh, brother, lo love, love. You love and understand. You, you, love, look, you love good for the people without any doubt. That's why Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةً لِلْعَالَمِينَ We have not sent you except as a mercy to all mankind. Prophet Muhammad alayhi wa sallam, his people tried to torture him. They broke his teeth. What he said? He said, oh Allah, guide them. He didn't say, oh Allah, destroy them. He prayed for them. Abu Huraira came to the Messenger of Allah. He said, oh Messenger of Allah, my people, they are stubborn. Make, make dua to Allah, destroy them. He said, oh Allah, guide them. You see? Yeah. So it shows you he loved good for them. Prophet Muhammad said, Allah did not send me to curse and insult. No, as a mercy to mankind. Lakin, likulli maqam in maqal. For every situation, there is a way to deal with it. Prophet Muhammad said, in a time of war, it's not a joke anymore. You have to be strong. 
We don't give one cheek and the other cheek. Or if someone came to rape my, rape my sister, I give my daughter. No, no, no. Yeah. Uh, not humiliated. Don't say humiliated. He was tortured. Yeah. They tried to humiliate him. They were never humiliate him. Yeah. No, so never humiliated. They were humiliated, alhamdulillah. Where is Abu Jahl? He went to the bin of history. Where is Abu Lahab? He went to the bin of history. Where is the crusade? They went to the bin of history. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, billion of people following him and love him and honor him. So anyone that's waging war against Prophet Muhammad, just stop. Otherwise, you go to the bin of history following your predecessors.